Hi friends, today I'll be talking on PCOD or polycystic ovarian disease. So basically what is PCOD? It's a symptom complex in which there are features of increase in the male hormone or increased androgen production, irregularity in the cycles where ovulation is not happening, so anovulatory cycles. And on ultrasound you may see, you may or may not see uh, at the periphery you have these tiny water fill kind of bubbles which range between 2 to 9 millimeters and they may be 10 or 15 of them or even more. Also the central part of this, uh, the ovary that's the stroma gets also thickened and vascular. Now these ultrasound features may not necessarily be present for me to label you as PCOD. Even if you have features of male excess hormone, you have anovulatory or irregular cycles, you may still have PCOD. So what, what happens when there's excess of the male hormone? You see features like there's excessive hair on the body, where there is excessive hair around the bearded areas of the face, on the abdomen, the thighs. There's a lot of acne because of increased oil secretion from the glands. The uh, scalp, you lose a lot of scalp hair. You see balding at uh, the temporal areas. And uh, cycles get irregular. You don't experience your bleeding for say one and a half, two months or even three months. Or if it comes, it's scanty or excessive. And there's a lot of irregularity because of irregular ovulation. And the other most important thing that is seen is obesity, where 50% of PCOD patients have excessive weight gain. Now, this weight gain doesn't mean that you're, you're going to be chubby or you'll weigh like 120 kgs. You will notice a steady increase in your waist circumference. So basically, your waist, the abdomen, the hips and the thighs is where you generally tend to put on weight. And that weight gain also causes you to have irregular cycles with insulin resistance. Now this insulin resistance can cause features like excessive pigmentation around the neck. Now these in a nutshell is what happens in PCOD. Now why does it happen in the first place? PCOD happens because of faulty lifestyles and the other genetic uh, associations are also there but basically the more you take care of your lifestyle you so don't see the effects of PCOD. Now what do I mean by lifestyle changes? Lifestyle means early to bed, early to rise, timely meals and restrict junk food. Early to bed means 5.36 you have to be out of bed. 6 to 7 you do 1 hour of proper exercise. It's only after 45 minutes of exercise that you start burning body fat. By 7.38 you eat a healthy breakfast like uh, say you have porridge or you have a chapati or a paratha. Can you add ghee on it? Of course you can have asli ghee on it. Okay, with or uh, say if you're non-vegetarian you can have a boiled egg. Uh, boiled egg is generally preferred over a fried egg. Occasional fried egg is fine but boiled egg is any day better with the yolk the yolk is the most important part the yolk gives you your vitamin d and it has good cholesterol and the egg white gives you your protein along with that you can have a fruit or a glass of milk or a cup of tea then by 11 o'clock you can have dry fruits then by 1 32 you eat lunch so chapati with vegetables chicken fish white meat you should have like twice a week and red meat is like once in a month vegetables is what you need to have all vegetables you can have all fruits you can have it's not that because you have pcod so you can't have mangoes you can't have uh, banana because they are rich in sugars you can have these fruits too and uh, say then by five o'clock you have uh, a salad any salad of your choice or sprouts beans beet carrot juice by eight o'clock you have your dinner by 7 38 dinner is light so roti vegetables and uh, don't starve if you are hungry and you want to have four chapatis please have four of course you won't overeat or binge eat but don't kill your hunger jitna bhook hai utna roti khao utna tum sabji khao don't starve or try to kill your hunger because that is not going to uh, cause you to have any benefits if you act, in fact your metabolism changes because of your dieting spree and instead of losing weight you start gaining weight and the reason for you to change your lifestyle whether it's your period problems or obesity is not met only then by 9 30 10 you have milk with dry fruits and you go to bed by 9 30 10 and you wake up by 5 36 so basically timely meals avoid junk food early to bed early to rise is what is going to help you now if you ask me can i exercise in the evening rather than morning because i don't get time fine you exercise in the evening but see that you're empty stomach two hours 
it's better that you at least regularize your cycles uh, by exercising in the evening rather than subah mein kare kabhi kiye kabhi nahi kiye and then nothing you're not achieving what you what you need to do this is what is going to help you and you'll need less medication by just this lifestyle change pcod also has a lot of long term effects it causes something known as endometrial hyperplasia so if you don't get your periods for say 3 months 4 months sometimes even 6 months and women who generally have completed their family they think oh wow i'm getting my period once in 4 6 months to jhanjhati nahi hai sorry you are you will be surprised to know that if you don't get your periods say within 2 months you develop something known as endometrial hyperplasia because of est- increased estrogen this endometrial hyperplasia causes you to bleed excessively and the bleeding doesn't stop at that time to stop bleeding you will be undergoing procedures so it's very important for you to bleed within 2 months to keep that estrogen under check secondly that it can causes diabetes later on in life it causes increase in triglycerides cholesterol increases the incidence of stroke cardiovascular effects now suppose you have to if you take medicines so medicines is very temporary you take medicines you'll be fine you stop medicines and you've not changed your lifestyle you are going to be back to square one as far as pcod is concerned only the lifestyle change you will require less medication so very important to start now change your lifestyle because once you get pcod is going to stay there is no cure to pcod it cannot be removed from your system you take care of your lifestyle you don't need medicines you don't take care of your lifestyle so sometimes you're taking medicine for hirsutism sometimes for pregnancy sometimes for sugars and the cycle is not going to stop so hope you understand this and it is important that lifestyle is mandatory to change as far as medicine requirement and pcod is concerned so all the best